Hi! Today, me and Tumble are out on Dartmoor. Our plan is to do about six miles. We're gonna take off some Dartmoor 365 squares. There is a place that I've seen several times from the road called Wheel Betsy if you go from Oakhampton to Tavistock. So we're gonna go and actually have a proper look at it because I've never been down there. There is also a square for Wheel Jewel and also Gibbets Hill. So we're gonna go have a look at those. We're doing a circular walk from the car park round to the reservoir. Then we're gonna go look at the engine house and then up to Gibbets Hill and then work our way back. I am gonna take my stove and check on some waterproofs because it is horrible out there. But hey, you know, why stay in for a day when you could go out and get soaked? Straight into waterproofs because although it's not, well, it is raining, but it's not very heavy right now. I've got a feeling it's gonna get quite a bit wetter. Hello, cutie. Oh, hey, baby. Oh, this is a good start. So many sweet little foals. It is extremely drizzly, but you can see over there the Willsworthy Rifle Rangers. I make myself laugh so much because I think just walking along, it's raining and I'm already soaked and we've started about five minutes ago. And I think, what sort of person on a day of work is, oh, I'm just gonna go out to Dartmoor, film a video about me looking for some squares from a book Oh my god, my face is so wet. And I can't even see because it's so wet. Just a quick note on that actually, that it's a very good idea anytime, raining or not, to be prepared out on Dartmoor. So in my bag, I have an emergency BV sack. I have a first aid kit, full waterproofs, so coat and trousers. I've got a paper map as backup. I've got the route put into my OS Maps app and downloaded, so not relying just on having internet signal and a fully charged mobile phone with a spare little mini charger to use as well, just in case. Um, so always just make sure, of course, do be prepared. We're not going very far from the road, but if it is misty, people do become lost. Just thinking as well about what else is in my bag. I also have extra clothing. So I always make sure to bring a down jacket, um, a hat, gloves, and also a buff. So we found it quite possibly the most depressing reservoir I've ever seen. It's not beautiful. The book did warn me of that though, but it's very functional. It still is and has been. So this depressing looking reservoir actually serves Will Betsy, Will Friendship and Will Jewel. There is only Will Betsy that you can see now. There isn't any of the other buildings anymore. And it also now serves um, to help power the hydropower, which is how Mary Tavy actually receives its electricity, which is pretty cool. place where I really actually come to see this was just one of the squares so I wanted to get it ticked off so let's hope that that is a bit more pleasant we're just following this track now and then you can see as we come around the corner we can actually see Will Betsy now cloud has actually lifted for a moment as well so you can see Gibbet Hill up the top of there and then that's the mines which you can see on the map. There's something quite exciting about heading down into this valley on this bridle path. It just seems like another place. The open moorland was so bleak and drizzly 
and had that reservoir and then this place feels so alive there's just like berries everywhere and it's full of ferns and we've just passed all the sheep and it just seems like another world even though we're just down in the valley from the main road it just seems wonderful That is actually a wonky chimney. As you can probably see from the camera, it's actually getting wetter again. So I was hoping that we'd find somewhere sheltered and we could sit and make some coffee. But I think the best thing to do in conditions like this, unless we find some shelter, is just keep cracking on because the walk is not that long and we can cut it shorter and always head back to the van for coffee. Oh my goodness, the rain situation has got even worse. <laughs> it's hood up because so much rain was going in my eyes, I can't even see now. Honestly, in England, if you don't go out, on a day that you are free to go out you would never leave the house because of the weather but it's still fun we're still enjoying it exploring having a good time we've made it to the top of Gibbet Hill and there's not a lot of view which the book talks about how great the view is it's such a shame so a bit like the reservoir functional was this hill. It's called Gibbet because what it had was almost like a hangman structure with an iron cage so if you were put in there you were imprisoned and left to die and people could choose to give you food and scraps if they were feeling a bit generous. The cloud has cleared for a second and over in the distance you can just about see Brentor. It's quite a nice view here and the rain has actually stopped and I'm starving so we're just going to sit and have a drink and actually admire the view which I didn't think was going to happen today. Tumble doesn't like being patient. <laughs> got a mega lunch today. Salad from the garden, quiche and fluffles. Looks so good. This is fantastic. I'm now sat enjoying my coffee. A lot more of the views come out. And it's just brilliant. Well, not quite. I'm sat here wearing a coat. It's quite chilly. But the view's good. Final sip of coffee. Then let's get packed up and make the way back to the van. Tumble.
do you want to go for a go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? <laughs> that was a definite yes, mum. Having lunch and coffee is just too boring. We're just walking now through a beautiful little village called Lidford and we're just picking up on the West Devon Way before we head back over to the car park because reading the map there wasn't really a way to get from Gibbets Hill back round to Willsworthy Range without crossing back over the road and walking almost back the same way I came so I'm just going to go this way there is a footpath on the map so I think I can cut through um, along like a farmer's lane and then that comes out directly opposite the car park where I'm parked so that would be absolutely ideal. We just met a lovely lady who's the farmer here and I'm always very cautious when I meet farmers and I'm on their land because although we have right of way you don't want to be one of those people that causes a problem because we're so lucky that we have as much access as what we do. So I always try to be very polite and, you know, don't want to spoil it for everyone, but she was absolutely lovely. And that's a wrap, back at Bertie. So it's time to head home. I just play usual, a fantastic walk on Dartmoor. Really, really enjoyed that. The weather was very changeable, which was actually really enjoyable and made part of the whole day, really. Also, Dartmoor 365, great book. I probably wouldn't make an effort to go to so many of these places if it wasn't for the book. So if you're into Dartmoor, check it out. Take care, bye.